this edition of Seller's Corner. I'm Erin, content creator for Vendu and at Four Limes on most reselling platforms. Let's face it, looks matter. It's super important to have quality photos and to portray your items in the best light, literally, to gain exposure and facilitate sales. No one likes blurry, distorted, wrinkly photos. No one. Here are some of my best tips and tricks on how to take the best photos. First, to do some research. We're photographers. We photograph every single day. Taking some time to learn about your camera or phone settings, zoom, exposure, contrast, and lighting can be super helpful in improving your photographs. There are five photo factors for you to consider. First is preparation. Second, lighting. Then style, method, and photo editing. So here we go. First, preparation. You know how they say the camera adds 10 pounds? Well, it also adds wrinkles, scuffs, discoloration, and fibers and lint. I swear, the tiniest piece of lint can totally ruin your listing photos. So be sure to take time. Clean your items if they're hard goods. Steam them. If you're not using a steamer, try hanging them in the shower. Make your item look the best that you can for picture day. It sounds simple, but little efforts make a huge difference in photography. Number two. Lighting is literally key to a perfect photograph, and the best lighting is totally free, the sun. If you have a semi-plane wall next to a window, that is all you need, you're good to go. Natural lighting really does the best job at naturally portraying the colors of items. But if you don't have space near a window, or you can't photograph during the day, there are plenty of artificial light sources like this to help you take great photos. Number three is photograph style. What style will your listings be? Will you use a soft box? Will you use a clear hanger on a lightly colored wall? Will you consider a flat lay, maybe stylized with some accessories? Will you model them yourself? Or maybe get some help from a friend, a dress form, or a mannequin? It's really important to think about what you'll do, how long it will take you, how to be cohesive in your closet, and the best way to portray your items. Number four is method. Be sure to photograph literally everything. I mean the front, but also the back, the logos, the features, the details, the material care and content tags, the sizing and brand tags. I even photographed the measurements. I'll delete those later, but for now, because I photographed it, I can enter this information right into my listing and it saved me from having to write it down. It's important that every single inch of your item is clearly photographed. If you're selling on a platform that offers video, it's great to take a quick video like this as well. Not only does having all of this information in your photograph save you from potentially having to answer questions, but it also protects you in the event of a negative transaction or an unhappy buyer. Photo factor five is photo editing. I really do try to capture the best photographs I can at the onset to avoid tedious time spent editing. This is the original photo and usually all I have to do at this point is auto adjust and perhaps change the exposure. Increasing the exposure is one of those little simple steps that makes a huge difference. There are some photo editors that I do like to use when I use them. I have those saved right here. I really like Snapspeed. It's a super quick editing app for basic light and color um, and saturation adjustments. It also has some great filters. Photo Room is amazing. That one removes and replaces the background entirely for clean, clear, natural, and SEO friendly backgrounds. I also really like Lightroom. Lightroom has full photo editing capabilities. Lightroom is just like Photoshop and it also has presets and thousands available for super aesthetically pleasing photos. Picolage is the other one that I use occasionally. That's when I want to make um, collages or add text to photos. It's really important when you're photo editing to be sure that you preserve the integrity of your original photo. You definitely want it to look natural, just like the item, and to clearly like portray all of the details, the condition, and the color. Our screens already distort them a little bit, so it's important to not over edit. In PicTap Go, you can go to adjustments and literally just slide this bar to help you with light, contrast, and color. 
This basically fixes a lot of problems like tonal issues, overexposure, underexposure, and fading. In literally seconds, Photo Room removes your background. It gives you that perfect, crisp, clear SEO. You can also adjust the shadow and you can have fun with it. You can make the background anything that you choose or one of their preset templates. And those are really, really fun. Preparation, lighting, style, method, and editing. Those are the five photo factors. Be sure to try different things, methods, instruments, and styles, and see what works best for you. Play with your settings and the apps. And it's important to develop a process that's really fast, but quality. Time is money, but photos help sell. If you liked this video, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. See you next time, friends.